At least two senators on the Republican side, Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, Susan Collins of Maine, have announced that they would prefer not to vote on a replacement for Ruth Bader Ginsburg until after the election. Meantime, Democrats united in opposing, of course, as they always are, whomever the president selects. Nancy Pelosi has even said impeachment's on the table, as we just told you. In an interview on Sunday, she didn't rule that out, impeaching the president and the attorney general as a way to delay the Supreme Court nomination process. Matt Gates is the author of a brand new book. He's a member of Congress, of course, from Florida. And the book is called Firebrand, Dispatches from the Front Lines of the MAGA Revolution, packed with all kinds of pretty amazing revelations. He joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks so much for coming on. So you have at least two Republican senators, your Republican office holder, so I'm interested in your view. How should Republicans respond to two sitting Republican senators saying, we're not voting, period, even before we know the nominee? Well, there is no fervent wish provision of the Constitution. And the argument that Democrats, socialists, and apparently Collins and Murkowski are making is that somehow, like in the fourth quarter of a basketball game, everyone should just take a pause to determine who's going to be the coach next season. This is actually pretty simple, Tucker. We, the Republicans, have the power, and we ought to use it. Is there any doubt if Democrats and socialists and the woke-topians controlled the presidency and the Senate, what they would do? They would be forcing us to accept some blue-haired, genderless warlord from the Chaz to be the next Supreme Court justice. But here we have Murkowski and Collins rejecting the duties that they have as senators. And if they do that, their voters should reject them. Trump supporters should not be taken for granted in Maine, Alaska, or anywhere else. And if they are unwilling to do their job and take a vote, on who the president nominates, they should not have the privilege of continuing to serve in the Senate. Democrats will stand up and tell you with a straight face, proud of it, that men can get pregnant. They're not embarrassed of anything they say they believe. Republicans, some of them, many of them, appear to be deeply embarrassed of their purported deepest beliefs. Why is that? You, you work there. Any insight? Yeah, it's a shame that Republicans don't at times fight with the same vigor of Democrats. But remember, Mitch McConnell views his entire legacy as the Senate leader as tied to the judiciary. He literally wrote a book about it. And if he is unable to deliver this result for the president, one has to ask, what is the utility of Mitch McConnell? I mean, we put up with the things about Mitch McConnell we don't like, like right. his unwillingness to fight for the wall, his willingness to impoverish towns in America with these trade deals for uh, global organizations. And we do it all because he is supposed to be a stud on judges. And so it's time to end the hand wringing and the bedwetting. Mitch McConnell should put pressure on fellow senators. They should lose funding for their campaigns. They should lose committee assignments if they are unwilling to fulfill their duty. Look, we have to confront our duties as public officials. One such duty is to advise and consent. And Susan Collins herself said that the Senate should have taken a vote on Merritt Garland. So the Susan Collins of 2020 should certainly agree with the Susan Collins of 2016 that they should be taking an up or down vote. Interesting. Nice point. Congressman Gates, congrats on the book, by the way. I appreciate it. Thanks, Tucker. Out. Hey, I wrote in there how you and I stopped war with Iran a few times. People should check it out. <laughs> I'm not taking credit. Great to see you, though. Thank you. <laughs>